with tight budgets and a challenging economy, schools across West Michigan are hurting to make ends meet. Extracurricular activities are getting cut and the tools students need to succeed in life and school go by the wayside too. That's why a staff member at Davenport University is helping out by donating used sporting goods. Katrina Weirman is an assistant cheering coach at Davenport. She's here along with Jonathan Goy from the Hope Academy of West Michigan mm -hmm. and uh, talking about uh, a great effort and uh, the Hope Academy will benefit from this great effort. Tell us about what you just this great combination of yes. uh, resources. I am the assistant cheerleading coach at Davenport University and and we are very big on community service with our girls. So this was an idea that we actually got from a coaches conference in California to hold a youth sporting good drive. And for a while there, we weren't sure exactly who we were gonna donate it to. And then my brother called and said, I got a new job and I have no items to teach <laughs> PE, so we thought that would be perfect. Yeah. Well, this is actually a common scenario at a lot of schools. Tell me a little bit, kind of going in, of the scenario, because you're on the front lines. You know, you're trying to teach students and enhance them in a certain way, but yet the tools aren't always there. It's, it's difficult, uh, and certainly at Hope we have a, a different scenario than what a lot of schools have, being mm -hmm. a, a K through 12 building, a brand new school. Um, there are there are some issues as far as getting resources, and it's difficult. So um, we are forever grateful for for Katrina and Davenport and the cheerleading program there for for helping us out. It is going to be a huge help. Okay, so how does it work? So there's a drop box at Davenport University in the student center. Um, girls made posters, so you can see exactly where to go and drop your items. You can bring new or used items. Um, drop it in the box and be on your way. It's very simple. So, Are there any specific types of items that you're looking for? Things that would be, because I imagine some people have some things tucked away in their garage or their basement, and some people might say, hey, I want to go out and get some new things. And I'm sure you're There's bringing a, everything. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> anything. I mean, we, anything you can have, mats, frisbees, uh, little bean bags, uh, footballs, basketballs, baseballs, anything really in general. The hard part for us is having a very, very small budget budget, but having a K through 12 school, you know, there's things that are developmentally appropriate for younger kids that aren't for the older kids. Yeah. And so there are a lot of things that we may have to double up on. So if you've got, you know, a youth soccer ball that mm -hmm. your kids are older, they don't use anymore, we can use it. Or they, they've, the soccer balls and basketballs come in different sizes for right. different age groups right. and for different genders. And Absolutely. so maybe your kids have grown out of it. You can donate your old ones. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yep. Jump ropes, anything along those lines will help. Yeah. So. We're seeing with the tight budgets, you know, physical fitness, mm -hmm. art, you know, we're here in the midst of art prize, getting cut back. Yes. But you're able to see what an enhancer, and you also with the cheerleading, mm -hmm. of how much people's lives are enriched by this, mm -hmm. you know. Is this important that we support this? It's it's incredibly important. Uh, I'm sure it's obviously well documented the obesity issues that our country is now facing and the health issues and the things that come up with those cardiovascular diseases and different things that are very, very important for us to educate our young people on how to live healthy, how to be active, how to maintain that throughout the course of your life. It's incredibly important now, even maybe more so than it ever has been. Mm -hmm. Well, and your university is so easy to find just off M6, yes. the Henry Freeway, and uh, if anybody has any of those items at home, you want to donate them, you know it'll be going to a super great cause. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah, Thank thanks you. for coming on. Thank you for I feel like I have a kindred spirit here, because she was also <laughs> pregnant. That's right. Although she she has twins, though, yeah. so I'm like, <laughs> exactly. It's <laughs> a lot of luck to you. Thank you, you too. We have doctors on standby, just in case. Oh, good. <laughs> yeah, don't wait. Go away, folks. We'll be right back. <laughs> this is 8 West.